So remove the cover, and then we can put the same gauge on and gas test it to see if we've got a leak in the system. Right. How often do you come across problems with gas systems? Quite often, to right. be honest. Mm -hmm. They are fairly common. A lot of the time the customer is completely unaware that they've got a problem. Yeah. It's just a simple gauge. We pump it up to 150 millibars right. and leave it a quarter of an hour. And if there's any drop, we'll have to look for a gas leak. Any at all? Over 8 millibars. Back to zero. So you've lost nothing on this at all then? No, not, not, a, not a bit millibar. Right. That's reading 40 millibars because mm -hmm. the, the bottle is on. As soon as you start to run the system, mm -hmm. that will even out to 30 millibars. Mm -hmm. So this owner is now going to be happy with his gas system? Yes, it? it's got no leaks and everything's how it should be. Next, what we'll do is the gas test on the cooker, make sure all the flame failure devices work and mm -hmm. the jets are not blocked. So we light the rings up, leave them on high for a moment. We've only got three gas rings on this model, the fourth is electric. So it's just a simple case of making sure the flames are constant they're clean, they're not disturbed, and none of the, the ring is blocked on any of the sides. So run it on maximum, they should stay constant on minimum as well, mm -hmm. which they are. And then leave them to run for another minute or two, and then they can be turned off, and you can hear the flame failure devices click out which we'll do now. So it's a simple case of turning them off and just listening and you'll hear them click one by one as the flame failure devices cut in. Three. And with this model of cooker mm -hmm. there's also a gas and electric safety valve oh, nice. in the lid. Right. So we check that. Again, turn on. Mm -hmm. It's always best to do the one at the front and then close the lid and the flames will go out. Hey! When you open the lid again you'll be able to hear the gas where the gas valve is opened up. A simple case of lighting it, which is a, another safety feature. But the gas cutout works on the grill and the cooker. So you must have the gas lid open, the glass lid open. If not you won't get any gas to your cooker. And you won't have no tea. Fridge, we do a we know the caravan's gas tight. Mm -hmm. We'll light the fridge on gas and chill the fridge down to make sure the freezer compartment up the top is working. Mm -hmm. What we do is put a thermometer in there, chill it down for about an hour to an hour and a half on gas to make sure it works. Right. Then we switch it over to the electric and chill it down on electric as well. Does that mean you turn it off, let it warm up again and cool it down again? So, yeah. it, so it takes some time? That takes quite a bit of time. We normally allow an hour and a half on the gas mm -hmm. and up to an hour on the electric.